Hello guys, welcome to Comsol 101. This is the fifth tutorial of this series. In today's tutorial, I will show you two changes in our previous model. I mean, the problem will be the same, but there will be slight change in the geometry. Okay, so the two changes will be one. Let me show you a scientific paper. Uh, make there here you can see in the heading it's mixed convection flow in a lead driven okay a lead driven square so what does this lead driven means the lead driven means that uh, let me go to the model here you have a square okay filled with a liquid and you have a moving lid that means your upper lid is moving with something with velocity u or v whatever you say okay so if you if I show you an animation you can see that here is your liquid in a square enclosure and over it a conveyor belt is we are revolving over it so here you can see that the liquid is revolving round and round and round so this is called a lead driven enclosure okay so I will show you how to do it in console so for to do this I have to go to component one here this is the basically the same file uh, that I have used in console uh, in the tutorial third tutorial okay uh, the one I have solved in non-dimensionally I'm going to use that file okay don't worry I will upload this file in the link description below so don't worry about that <coughs> okay so uh, in the laminar flow I will go to the physics go to boundaries and select wall <coughs> in the wall I will select this wall okay and now the boundary condition it says no slip no slip means that the fluid will not experience any velocity if they are when the if they're in contact with the wall okay the fluid may uh, experience buoyancy effects here but in this wall the fluid that are in contact with it will have no effect whatsoever in velocity so I will set it to the moving wall and describe the velocity ux 1 meter per second that means this move lid will be moving with a velocity of 1 meter per second in the x-axis direction in this way or this way whatever it might be okay now to get better results I should change the temperature okay I've said that this is a high uh, heated wall okay I should change it okay I should change it to this one f to get better results okay and change the cold temperature to this wall okay if I've done the previous way you see that the there is no change in the model the velocity field pressure field all are same okay that's why I've done it so let's go to study and hit compute okay well we are waiting for the simulations to be done here the simulation started let's see the convergence plot one well the error is quite low so we are happy so this is correct I mean we should get something out of this simulation well here you go see the velocity field has changed uh, let me go to the temperature it looks like this and pressure it's looked like this okay now let me change this to uh, 25 okay Riley number and plot it well here you can see this it's like this and let me change to 100 it's look like this okay now in the paper you can see that there is no colorful images okay they show it like this way something like that so let me put it like this way how to do it you will go to the velocity you will drop down it and right click on surface one okay and disable it okay now you will right click it and click streamline okay go to the positioning select magnitude control uh, okay and invert plot you see this is what it looks like in our paper though they are different problems so they would look different but they are similar okay you can say that this one and this one are similar okay this is what it looks like okay now for the second problem in the second problem I will show you the partially active sidewalls okay natural uh, this is the paper partially active sidewalls that means your geometry the wall in the previous model was fully heated and fully cold this time this is not fully heated and cold 
a part of it is fully heated uh, sorry a part of it is heat heated and a part of it is in the cold state okay so i will do it in console files this is the same file so let's go this time i have to go to the geometry okay geometry it's square one okay and i will go to the geometry here uh select a point okay so where i take a, a point okay there is a point okay there is the point now the length of this wall is 0 to 1 okay now I have to add the partially heated sidewall so let me for this sake of this tutorial consider that the partially heated sidewall is half of this wall okay so if it's half of this wall that means this is the middle point uh, okay let me g put it this way the length of the wall is 1 and uh, I want to put a partially heated sidewall which is half of this wall that means the length would be 0 0.5 meter okay because the side length is now 1 meter so the partially heated side walls would be 0 0.5 meter so how to put it this way so if this is the middle one then we have to add 0 0.25 and subtract 0 0.25 so if we add 0 0.25 what would we look like it would be this one here is the point another point it would be 0 0.25 yeah this one this value okay so this is for the heated wall and now for the cold wall similarly i just go there i click the point similarly i just go there and hit the point okay so i have done the points now i click build all objects okay for the fourth square i said build all objects to make extent okay now i have to change the temperature okay so I would go to heat transfer 1 and here is the temperature okay I've said that this is the high temperature so let me change it I should delete it and let me say that this one is a heated temperature okay uh, okay I haven't done the bill objects one so I have to do it sorry you should after every point you have given or whatever the changes you made in your geometry please do this build all objects okay otherwise you won't feel the effect of it okay let's just wait it's loading uh, console actually it's a heavy software okay so it takes time to load so let me pause it for a while okay sorry guys there was a background download was going on so I have to pause that for a moment okay so I'm going to select the heated wall and it would be uh, this one okay okay let me select it, this one and the uh, temperature sorry the cold temperature okay it would be this one <laughs> okay so that's it now let's hit study and hit compute okay just wait for the simulation um, okay let me pause this here the video I think so the simulation would take long okay so the simulation has started as you can see the convergence plot the error is very very low uh, and the iterations of number of iteration needed is also pretty low so no problem with here we will get certainly get a result from here well there you have it okay so there is nothing that much of change here okay in the here let's see the if we change the rally number what would happen not that much change here actually anyway that's not problem let me see the temperature oh sorry the isotherm well here there you can see the isotherm is changed here okay it wasn't that much so like this here okay so that's it this is nice i have shown you two different geometry how to do it i guess uh, if you study more and more scientific paper you can also able to figure it out how to do it in console okay so I'm going to add the two files down below in this description and uh, let's wrap this lecture for now. 
i hope you guys you are liking this video please share this video as much as you could okay thank you very much goodbye